Okay, it's time for another DVD review. Haven't done a DVD review in a while. This movie I used to watch all the time as a kid, and I stopped watching it. I just stopped watching it. It's still a great movie. I found this at the $5 bin at Walmart, and I just had to buy this. It's The Little Shop of Horrors, the 1986 version, the musical. I also have the original 1960 version on DVD as well, the black, the black and white version. It was originally a, a 1960 Roger Corman movie, then they turned this into a musical in 1980. A smash, a smash Broadway hit, and then a Frank Oz movie in 1986 with Rick Morantis as Seymour Crowborn. And I hope Rick Morantis comes back in the acting one day. I miss Rick Morantis. I know a lot of people do. You know, it's just one of those things when an actor, it's his or her decision to retire, but you wish he or her would return. You know, someday I hope Rick Morantis comes back. I mean, he's still working. It's not in move the. Comedies uh, like Steve Martin does these days. You know what I'm talking about. But it's about Seymour Crowborn. He finds this weird plant, Audrey too, named after this girl he likes, Audrey, played by Ellen Green. I love Ellen Green's singing voice in this. Because, you know, Seymour, he works at uh, the flower shop. I forget what. It's just a flower shop uh, run by Mr. Mushnick, played by Vincent Garner. But um, Seymour, he, as as I say, as I'm gonna try to do this video right. Please forgive me. Seymour, he finds this plant, which you know they had that clip, totally eclipse of the sun, and this for some reason this plant disappears at this Chinese flower shop, and Seymour just has to have this, just has to get this plant. It's amazing. It's weird, and this plant it craves blood. It wants blood so bad. It, it you know when a uh, Seymour cuts his fingers. Oh, please grow for me. When he sings that, uh, the plant Audrey Chewy moves his lips and it wants blood so bad. And the key, he keeps getting bigger every time he's every time he sucks on Seymour's finger. Eventually, he becomes this big and he has a voice of his own, voiced by uh, li uh, what's his name, Liver Stubbs of the Four Tops. He says. Feed me Seymour, feed me all night long. And that's one scene he kills uh, Audrey's asshole, uh, dentist boyfriend, played by Steve Martin, as Orrin Spilelli. I, I guess that's his last name. But he was great in this movie. Son, be a dentist, you'll be a success. Oh, if my mother see can see me now, she'll be so proud of me. He says, "Oh, mama, say ah, ah, say ah, ah." Whenever he sprays the, you know that hose. You know what I'm talking about the dentist hose or the spray. <laughs> Forget it. But he does such a great job of playing that mean dentist beating up Audrey. It's just this movie is so. Uh, Hilarious. Also, Jim Belushi has a small cameo uh, in it as trying to clone Audrey too and make it a household name. I mean, it was it was getting a household name, uh, but uh, Jim Belushi's character wanted to make uh, copies. If but Seymour uh, realized he didn't want uh, Audrey too to live long because it would rule the world and kill people. You know, eats 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 eat human flesh and eats you know gets more blood and take over and takes over the world. But I like the showdown at the end, where you do, where uh, Audrey Chu fights Seymour. You don't know what you're missing with. No, you never did. You don't know what you're up against. That's tough, TD kid. Uh, he also says, "Nature calls. I'm gonna bust your balls. You can keep the plant. Keep the creature that don't mean shit." Man, Audrey Chu is so amazing. You know, Rick Barantis, I hope he comes back one day. I know he's still alive. I know he's retired. I mean, he's still working. I just wish he would be appearing in more movies. I know I think his uh, wife died in 1990, and he, you know, he didn't stop acting in local movies. I'll say local movies in 98. And, he's, you know, when his wife died, he didn't care. I guess he didn't care anymore to, to be in show business. I mean, he still does some work. He was the voice of one of the bears in Brother and Brother Bear from 2006, I believe. 
the little shop of horrors check this out anyway it's one of my all-time favorite musicals also has the two ladies as um who sings uh, the three African-American ladies. Two of them uh, appeared on Martin. And uh, Everybody Hates Chris. But check this movie out. It's, it's really a classic. Little Shop of Horrors. I don't know if this is going to be remade. I hope it doesn't get re remade. I mean it has been remade. But I'm talking about uh, the 1980 musical. It shouldn't get remade. It's, it should stay the same. You know. That's all I'm going to say. Check out Little Shop of, Hor Little Shop of Horrors. And please subscribe to my channel if you want to subscribe to my channel. You don't have to like me. You don't have to respect me. I just need more subscribers. Anyway, that's it. I'm out. Have a good one.